Joe here with the Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to be reviewing the Owl Dash Cam. And make sure to stay tuned until the end because we're going to be doing a giveaway of three cameras. So first off, Owl was founded by Andy Hodge. Andy was a product development leader on both the iPod and first generation iPhone teams while at Apple, as well as VP of Hardware Engineering and Strategy at Dropcam. And the main differentiator of the Owl Cam is that it has built-in 4G LTE, so you have access to your footage from anywhere at any time via the Owl Cam app. And as far as the specs, the Owl Cam has dual facing HD cameras, so you get both an inside and outside view of your vehicle, which is ideal for, for rideshare drivers. It also has a touchscreen LCD display, two microphones, a front facing light beacon, and two rear facing white LED lights. It has 64 gigabytes of internal storage and can store 14 hours of video. And again, it has a built-in 4G LTE connection, and this is for the instant video service they provide. Instant video allows you to view your car in real time, have instant access to the camera and its history anywhere at any time, and also receive alerts when the camera detects an impact or broken glass. And as far as the install, um, it's really simple. It plugs directly into the OBD port of your car. You then just route the cable through the door jam and dash and it comes with a tuck stick so you can push the cable into your dash so it is hidden and the cam is mounted to a suction beam via a magnetic coupling. Once the cam is plugged in and mounted, you will download the OWL Car Cam app. Open the app and tap add camera. Your camera will display a QR code. You will then scan the code to pair your phone with your camera and that is it. Again, it's really simple. It takes about five to 10 minutes to install. The camera works directly with the Owl Car Cam app. Using the app is really simple as well. There's a tab to view both the outside and inside camera in real time, as well as look at the historic view. You can view the footage either remotely via the LTE connection or in close proximity to the camera via a direct Wi-Fi connection. There's another tab where you can view clips. Clips are 10 second videos that are saved to your app. There are two forms of clips that are created automatically, um, alert and notification clips. Alert clips are created when possible damage is detected by the camera, and notification clips are created when your car has been just parked for a while and any movement is detected. And you can also manually create clips when you're driving by either touching the, the, the touch screen of the camera, or you can say OK Presto to the camera, and then once you do that, it will create a clip from 10 seconds in the past. Now as far as the cost, um, you must purchase the camera as a bundle with the instant video service that they provide. And the current price is $299, which of that 200 is for the camera and 99 is for the one year instant video subscription. And this is the price since we're right around the holidays, but usually the bundle is priced at $399. I've been driving with the OWL for about two weeks now and it works great. And the footage quality is fantastic. Um, it records at 30 frames per second it has an outside resolution of 1440p and an inside resolution of 720p. And the 1440p on the outside camera, the forward facing camera is really good. So if you ever need to view like a license plate from a distance, you should be able to zoom and view that. As far as the design, it's really clean and simple um, and it's pretty small. It's only three and a half inches in width and weighs four ounces. And again, it's really easy to use. The install was really simple and interacting with the app is really simple as well. One complaint I do have is that the, the camera has an internal cooling fan, so that fan runs whenever you're driving. So as long as you're driving, you're moving forward, that fan is on. Um, this may create the effect with, especially if a passenger sits in the front seat, they could hear that fan going. It may create the effect of thinking that someone's on the other end and watching the video. Um, I hope it doesn't create that that effect with my passengers, but that is something that is kind of an, a minor annoyance. Also, the cost is on the high end at $299. Um, it's over $100 more than other high-end cameras like the Vantrue N2 Pro and the Falcon Zero F360. And again, the camera currently is right around $200, but you have to purchase that as a bundle with the instant video service, which is that additional $99. Um, that instant video service, in my opinion, is not not completely essential. Um, yeah, it's nice to have that, but it's only it's only necessary if you want to see your car, want to be able to view your car in real time from anywhere. And for rideshare drivers, I really don't feel like that instant video service is necessary. Um, it's really easy when you're in close proximity to the camera to connect to it via a Wi-Fi connection, and that's a really simple way to get your footage. So again, a really good camera overall. Um, I would absolutely recommend it, but it is priced on the high end, so it may not provide that value for that price for rideshare drivers. 
Um, now, as far as the giveaway, we have three cameras to give away, um, valued at you know $300 each, close to a $1,000 value. And in order to enter, make sure you're subscribed to the Rideshare Guy channel, make sure to like this video, and then also comment below with your favorite dash camera and why. Uh, thanks for watching and drive safe. Thanks.